Hi guys, welcome back. Today's the day we start putting this engine back together. We'll start off by putting the gear selector drum in and then the two stacks of gears. We have the output shaft there with its two selectors, gear selectors on. And there's the other one, the input shaft. Of course everything has to be spotlessly clean. And I'm giving most things a bit of a wipe of oil as well before it goes back in. And you have to lift that one slightly out to let them nest together. And then the little pins on the selectors go into the drum. There's like some grooves around the edge of the drum for them to go into. And then there's two pins that slide through the selector forks into the casing at the bottom. Of course I can't resist giving it a spin just to make sure it's okay, I'm not catching on anything. Right, it's time to put this back together. Pump a load of oil in these gears. clean any oil off this mating surface. I've already sanded it. This is in my previous video. So you know it's flat. Should we get the glue? Now you're supposed to use a uh, Honda Bond on this, but I couldn't find any of that. So I'm just using what the local boys here use from Worth. It's, uh, Made in Switzerland. Now you mustn't use ordinary silicone for this, it's just not good enough. It smells like silicone. I guess it is silicone. It's just a better quality one. A lot of the silicones that you can buy in the builders merchants are actually not very good quality. That's why they're so cheap. They're full of a lot of odd fillers and things like that. Right, I'm going to cut this off as small as I can make it because you don't need very much of this stuff. If you can picture this, there's there's no gap, is there? It's a machine surface against a machine surface. So when when we put this together and bolt it up, 99% of it is going to squeeze out. And obviously you don't want that squeezing out on the inside in case it breaks off and blocks these tiny oilways. I mean, some of the holes for the oilways, they're less than a millimeter, so it wouldn't take much to, to block one. Right, but first, I need to put the crank in. Does anyone, so you don't want any play this way at all, up and down, and you're allowed up to, I think that's eight thou, not 0.2 millimeters from side to side. So you, you can feel a tiny bit of movement there. Maybe you can see that, but tiny bit of movement side to side, but, but nothing this way. Absolutely nothing that way. Drain out actually. Okay, too. Obviously, make sure the conrod is sticking out the top. Uh, the CBF doesn't have a balancer shaft, I don't think, but this one does. Now then, where are the pins? For that? Two, two roll pins. There's in there and there. 
there by the looks of it. Okay. I'm just cleaning these two surfaces with some uh, acetone and then let it dry for a few minutes. And this is just a couple of uh, close-ups for reference in case you need to pause it and check that everything is okay. Right, time for the scary bit. No going back once you've started this. So like I say, you don't need very much. So just put a very, very thin bead all the way around the edge and then just spread it out so you've got like a flat layer across the thing. You don't, you don't want a fat bead that's going to kind of squeeze out. You really just want a very, very thin layer so just keep spreading it out with your finger and going back over the you know the outside bits and any bits that you think don't have enough or have too much spread it out a bit more it doesn't matter if it squeezes out to the outside but you don't want anything at all really going on the inside and you only need to do the outside edge as well these areas inside you don't need to do right then it's just to pick it up and without touching it or the silicone edge I mean Carefully position it over the shafts. This was when I realised that I got the balancer shaft in the wrong way round. Yeah, I can remember the puzzlement. Ironically, I had, did try to put the balancer shaft in the other way to start with and thought it was wrong. See, this is why it's important to take videos and photographs and have the book. Because you will do stuff like this. Well, at least I do. There you go. The right way around. I apologise to anyone who's watching this that knows how to do it properly. And was screaming at the screen. It's in the wrong way! Right, try again. Fortunately, you do have a few minutes with this silicone. It's not that fast setting. Obviously, you don't have hours, but you've certainly got a few minutes. And there you go. Just gently press it over because you've got rubber seals, you see, where the shafts go through the outside of the casing. So there's a little bit of resistance. And then the two locating dowels should make sure it goes clunk. And then it's the screws. And remember what I said earlier, where you have to look at how much the screw is sticking out. Uh, so you basically go around and uh, make sure that each screw is only sticking out half an inch or so. Now I did have to pause here because obviously there's one on the bottom and I wasn't quite happy with how much it was sticking out. So I just double checked that screw against one of the others and I realised that that one was slightly longer look. So I think the slightly longer one goes in the, the one on the other side of the casing. And then it's to tighten them all up. Um, basically you just run them down until it touches the casing to start with, working in the same sort of crisscross fashion, opposite sides. And don't forget the one at the bottom. And then I go around and just do them kind of hand tight. So that's just an extra sort of quarter of a twist on the, the tool. I'm just gonna pop the nuts back on here again, just so I don't lose them. And of course it protects the threads as well. You can see that it's uh, 10 newton meters. Double check. Well, I was thinking there's about enough in there to do about 10,000 engines. Looks good, thin line. I'll take that off with a blade after. Because I think I read somewhere that if you if you wipe it off now, there's a chance you could pull some out. Nah, I'm not sure I believe that. But um... Okay then, that's it. Job done. See you in the next one.
Right, thanks for watching, and if you found that useful or interesting, you know what to do. See you in the next one.